guys, welcome back. So today I just wanna sit down here, real chill with my vlog camera on my floor and get ready with you. I wanna do a quick, simple, but really pretty makeup look that I've been wearing for basically the past two weeks. Whenever I've sat down and done my makeup, this is the look I've gravitated towards because it's quick, it's simple, um, it's really pretty. I have swapped out the lip or the blush dependent on what I'm wearing that day. But for the most part, this is kind of like my go-to look as of late and it's very efficient with time. I'm going to try and not talk too much. Now talking will of course add time to the, um, you know, the total time that it takes me to put makeup on. If I were to just sit down and not talk or explain things, of course things would go quicker. I also have some things I've been meaning to share with you um, that I had picked up at the, I guess at this point, August uh, Sephora sale. And we're gonna be using some new things as well. This is the first newer thing that I had picked up at that Sephora sale. This is the Ren Perfect Canvas. This is like a finishing serum, something you can use as a primer for your face or maybe you need a little bit extra moisture. It comes in a dropper. Sitting on the floor here is transporting me back to being in high school and doing my makeup because I would sit on my floor every day and uh, put my makeup on. I didn't, I didn't really have brushes. I used my fingers. Just really basic, but honestly, I've been using my fingers a lot too. I've actually just been doing my spritz, like my Smashbox primer or my MAC Fix Plus for a primer, but this is also lightweight too. It says it's silicone free. And I've really found that a lot of added things to primers or just makeup, you know, my skin gets really irritated if I use a lot of product. So less is more for me. And I've been even doing a, like a lesser amount of foundation, a lesser amount of primer, and just trying to get a thinner consistency on my face because it seems that the thicker, like I make my makeup, <laughs> it makes me think of like the princess and the pea, the thicker the situation on my skin, the more breakouts I experience. I'm gonna go for a matte foundation today because I do have a little bit of breakouts I wanna cover and I don't want an all over dewy skin look when I have breakouts because it kinda just like puts those breakouts on a spotlight. But I have the shade 102 in this. Now, with my foundation, I've been going for a very sheer look. I've actually not even been using a beauty blender. So I've been really smoothing it out on the back of my hand and applying it with my fingers and then blending in the edges with a brush because that way it really just gets smushed into the skin here technical term smushing smushing how do you apply your foundation ah smush it into my skin i remember the first time i watched a youtube video and i saw somebody use a brush to apply their foundation i was like what a brush i always thought you just used your fingers you know even like in Mary Kay and stuff, I don't remember them using brushes. I mean, they sold eye brushes and stuff and like powder brushes, but they didn't have like a foundation brush. And then I'll just take the brush and kind of go over to make sure everything's completely blended. I also had picked up this concealer by Tarte, the Creaseless Concealer, um, during that sale. And this is in the shade Light. Now, this is a very thick concealer. Like... It's very thick, it's very hydrating. I believe it has really good coverage. And I don't like to do too much. Now I'm gonna do my under eyes, but I'm also gonna do this really bad boy we have over here. And then I do blend my concealer out, especially this one with it being so thick with a dampened beauty blender. Um, I'm gonna set my under eyes with my Chanel loose powder. I do not go heavy with powder. I really like to keep this nice and light. I don't want it to be too heavy underneath my eyes here. Now I'm also gonna set my T-zone where I get a little bit oily, so that's gonna be through here, down the bridge of my nose, my little smile creases, and my chin. I've pulled out an old favorite. This is the Laura Geller Baked Bronze and Brighton. This comes in different shades. This particular one is called Fair. And I like to do, you know, sometimes I've even been skipping blush and just doing like an all over bronzed look to keep this short i have to almost not talk <laughs> which i feel weird not doing but i'm trying to really truly keep this true to how long it's gonna take me here i don't ever neglect my neck because my neck is always a little bit lighter than my face but my chest is like chronically sunburned so 
Now for blush, I'm going to use the It Cosmetics CC Plus Radiance Ombre Blush in the shade Sugar Plum. It's a beautiful, nice plum color. Perfect for just that little flush that it gives the cheeks because of the undertones in it. Just a little bit of a rosiness. I think rosy tones or just even a soft pink is a very youthful look on the cheeks. Especially if you're one that doesn't like a lot of color or you don't want to go too warm or too cool. Just a little flush, like what you would naturally beam out on a cold, chilly day. Now, this is another thing I've been doing. I've been doing all my powder products and then going in with a little bit of Fix Plus to really set that and solidify it to your face, I guess. Cute kitty intermission. She's just chilling here in the background watching mama put on makeup. We are just moving all over the place here on the floor to try to get out of that sun. Okay, so I just did my brows real quick because that's, it's hard for me to hold a mirror and apply my brows, honestly. Uh, but I did the Brow Wiz, no, the Brow Definer in the shade Medium Brown from Anastasia. And then I do the Brow Gel on top just to kind of keep them hairs in place. But we're going to do a little bit of eyeshadow today. So I'm going to put on the Milani Eyeshadow Primer here. I do a thin layer. You know, less is more, I think, as you get older with makeup. And the heavier makeup that I wear, the more it settles into fine lines. It even will emphasize lines you didn't really naturally have until you started putting on those thicker layers. And then suddenly it just, you know, starts settling and emphasizing little things and whatnot. So thinner layers is like what I've realized is the answer. So I'm going to use two shadows today. I'm going to take it from the Anastasia Lavish palette. Now I realize this isn't, or no, the World Traveler palette. I realize you can't just go out and buy this, but that's okay because I'm using very basic shades that you can get anywhere, number one. And number two, you can buy her shades separately if you would like to do that. So I am going to take the shade Soft Peach. An alternative would be Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie, just really nice. That one's actually even a little bit brighter. This one's a little bit more just cream-based. And I'm just going to take a, what is this, Sigma E36 diffused crease brush speaking of Anastasia um, I want to see the sultry palette in person because the cooler tones call my name in that palette I really like cool toned eyeshadows I think they're very flattering on myself okay so what am I doing I am just taking this soft peach shade and buffing it into my crease and completely diffusing it out so it's a very softly defined crease. I don't want to do a lot of eyeshadow work. I don't want to do too much. I'm just going to add a little bit of something to define the eye area. And you can kind of see how a little shadow... I have a very deep crease so I don't need a lot of defining. But I do like to bring the color kind of up and open my eye more. Up and out. And I get real, um, <laughs> real crazy with the blending and the brush going all over the place when I do a crease shade. Because I really like that diffused look. More so than a harshly defined line, you know. I like that watercolor effect. Where it just kind of like, there's no beginning or end, it just kind of fades. Now, I don't even have highlighter on and you can see how just adding that Fix Plus really duifies the skin. I don't, I don't know if that's a word, but it is now. Also, that blush has a, you know, it's a radiant blush, so it has some glow to it, so you could absolutely skip highlighter. I don't think I'm going to do that because I, I like the glow, but you could if you wanted to. So, I would say if you're doing quick makeup, multi-purpose, dual-purpose products, things that, you know, you can do more than one thing with, not only while it's in your hand, but you know, that you can fix different things on the face with it or whatever. So, I really didn't even go. I haven't been doing that much at all. i just really been doing this all up in the crease. And then, the second eyeshadow I'm going to take is the shade Spoiled. Now, this is basically a darker, darker in tone. And then it has a little bit of a, a slight interest to the shadow. A slight sheen. A slight radiance nothing crazy and it's also very just it's close to my skin color so softly emphasizing the eyes without 
a lot of obvious color whether brown or peach just soft and I think it's very very pretty yep that's all I want to do I just want to keep it really simple because if I truly were in a hurry that would be all that I do now I'm going to apply my highlighter because I'm also going to take my highlighter and use it as my inner corner highlight so this is the Dior let's see what's the actual name Dior skin nude air luminizer number two this comes in several shades number two is slightly more pinky toned so it's good for fair, fair light skin tones with a more neutral to cool undertone. If you have more of a warm undertone, you might want to go for the more champagne golden one. But this particular highlighter gives a really wet look to the skin. I never skip my Cupid's bow. And then I'm just going to take a little, this one's not a very clean pencil brush, but just a little pencil brush. Oh my gosh, I've only had two cups of coffee and my hand is shaking like crazy. Some days I just overdo it, you know? I've been skipping eyeliner because A, it takes too much time. Two, I usually mess it up. And C, I have no patience. <laughs> so, I, oh, why do I forget to show you? The Black Lacquer Lash Primer by Pixie. So, I'm not doing false lashes or any of that stuff. I'm just going to do... Um, a little lash primer to give a little extra volume and length, and then mascara. Okay, this is probably going to take longer than anything else that I've done, because I really like to make sure when I don't wear liner that my mascara is on point. Like, my lashes are lengthened, everything is thickened, I got volume going on, because otherwise my eyes are kind of lost. I find that this lash primer actually primes and it actually helps my mascara. It's not goopy. I like that it's black. I'm finding that the older I get, the more simplistic I want and need things to be. And I'm talking kind of like in every area of my life. Like, I've always chased after, you know, quantity, 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 more, more, more. But I wasn't ever using everything I've already been given. Oh my gosh, that cool breeze feels amazing. I hope it's not too loud. You can hear traffic in the background, but I personally love to have my windows open now that I'm getting a cool morning. I like to listen to the birds and just feel the breeze. Okay, and then I do a little bit on the bottom. I really should be doing a waterproof on the bottom. Oh. Okay, we'll clean that up when it dries here with a Q-tip. If you get mascara on your skin, let it dry first before you try to peel it off otherwise you're just gonna smear it okay now my favorite part of this look is actually the lips so we're gonna do a pinky nude lip and for me when I want a very natural lip color or something that's gonna really emphasize my natural lip line or I want to cheat my lip line a little bit I go for something that's kind of like a pinky nude so Laura Mercier Plumberry or Charlotte Til Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk lip liners would be a good one to pair with the color I'm going to do. But if you like those pinky nudes, these are really good, more like natural, actual lip color pencils, if that makes sense. So it's going to give a frame without an obvious frame appearance. I sometimes will even do my lip color first and then go back in with the liner. So I'm going to be using the um, Estee Lauder. Pure Color Envy, no, Pure Color Vinyl Rose Lip Lacquer. I don't know if this is available anymore, but there are so Okay, another color that would be similar would be Lorox Gloss. What color is that? Bare Minerals Sugar Lip Gloss would be similar. But basically, this is going to be your color and gloss all in one. So once again, it's like a one-step, really simple thing. I'm gonna do you, uh, I'm gonna do you. I'm gonna show you my outfit of the day, my perfume today. I'm gonna put on the Versace Crystal Noir. I love this perfume. It is a perfect fall, winter type scent. Um, my necklace is the Alyssa necklace from Kendra Scott, in case you're interested. You can customize it. You can pick your own chain, you can pick your own stone. It's completely customizable. Customizable, customizable, oh jeez. Um, and mine is the Cayo Sierra Opal, in case you're wondering. It's really pretty. Can you see this? Can you even see this right now? She's like dead to the world. Uh, what's your outfit? Huh? What's your outfit of the day? You got a couple stripes paired together. 
She's like, oh, mom, this sun is just doing it for me. I just can't help it. All right. She's going to be in the outfit of the day. I can't help it. Um, these are Tom's, the Majorca booty. I love them. I particularly love this more gray slate color because it pairs perfectly with jeans. These are cut from the cloth jeans from Nordstrom. They have a good amount of stretch in them. I love the destroyed denim look. It's like a favorite of mine. This is the cutest little free people sweatshirt. It's got some texture to it. It's one of those that's kind of low. So I myself am com not comfortable wearing that without something underneath. So I wear just a cute little cami. I've also worn it with a white t-shirt underneath, which is a really fun layered look too. I have the sleeves rolled up because I've been working, but they're kind of like a dolman, so that might bother some of you. However, it doesn't bother me when I wear them, you know, like pushed, I can't, <laughs> one arm is hard. It's hard to film one arm. Um, pushed up like that. You can see. This comes in lots of colors. This was uh, something I bought at the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but I believe it is still available and it came in like a red and just some other fun kind of colors. And I think I'm actually going to leave it untucked because I want a really undone look because that's just what I like is that just kind of like undone, carefree, casual kind of look. And then of course the makeup. I think this light pink lip pairs really well with a cooler toned um, outfit or even like black and gray I really like a light pink nude lip so outfit of the day so thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you like this more like casual vlog style get ready with me and outfit of the day because I really do I'm kind of loving this just like more relaxed and chilled situation so thank you guys so much for watching have a fabulous day and we'll chat soon bye guys